Okay everybody, welcome back to Learn With Minecraft Education. Today we're going to be looking at an awesome new world edit mod that's going to really speed up our world creation, but also it's going to be a lot of fun to use. It does some pretty crazy stuff that we can't normally do. Now we're going to test this working in Minecraft Education Edition today, but it also works in Bedrock as well. Um, I'm going to show you how to download, install and use this mod today. So let's see how it works. Okay, so here we are in MCPEDL on the World Edit add-on. You can find the link for this in the description today if you want to download this add-on for yourself. Uh, once you follow the link, just scroll down and we are looking only for the behavior pack. Uh, the resource pack you can download too, uh, but you only need it if you are running Minecraft in a different language. So it takes us to AdFly. I'm gonna wait for it to count down in the corner and then say skip add. And then here we go, here's our download. So we click the blue button there, download. And in the bottom left, it's gonna come up with our MC pack file, uh, which will open Minecraft Education Edition. And then uh, it will import our new add-on for world editing. Now for me, it says fail to import as always. I've already got this installed, uh, but I'm just showing you guys how to download it. Now, when we start our new world, we just go to resource packs if we are not running uh, in an English language and activate that. There we are. Uh, the behavior packs is the essential one. So I'll click on that and click activate too. Now essentially, uh, this pack is just a list of functions and functions are basically a shortcut uh, to a load of commands. So you can run one function instead of thousands of commands. And uh, it's a shortcut, it speeds things up, which is what this mod is all about. Uh, we're going to uh, run this on creative on an infinite map. I think that's going to look a bit more interesting, isn't it? And um, good, all that looks fine. So let's hit play and see how this mod works. Now later on, I'm going to load this world again uh, without uh, the resource packs activated. The first thing we're going to do is type function give and it gives us all the items you can see here listed so that we can run this mod nice and easily and get working with it. So first things first, let's get in the wooden shovel. Seems to work just like a normal wooden shovel, but when we press Q and drop it, it activates our function to clear a three by three uh, block of whatever's in front of us, whatever we're looking at. So you can see it's clearing out trees and dirt and grass and flowers and the cows aren't cleared away, but that's it. And then we select the barrier. When we drop the barrier block, it uh, stops running that function. Now the trident here, when we hold that and press Q, it lets us kind of use a paintbrush tool. So we're going to be painting um, let's go for snow onto the whatever's in front of us, onto the ground in this case in front of us. Wow, that's really awesome. So I'm just painting all the ground there in snow. It doesn't affect the trees and stuff, just, um, just the blocks there. That's really cool. Barrier block to finish it. Let's look at the light block. So this will, uh, let's set it to night so we can see the effects of the light block. So I'll drop this and it should light up the ground here. Um, and that looks really cool. And actually it stays illuminated, which I didn't realize it was going to do. Uh, let's try the stone axe. So when I press Q holding the stone axe, it's going to clear all the trees. Just wandering around clearing all this. That's quite useful. Sometimes trees get in the way a little bit and you want to clear them all the way. It gets rid of the leaves and the branches and everything as well, which is helpful. And um, yeah, quite good for clearing clearing a big, a big space there with the uh, with the axe. So it's a little bit dark actually. Let's go time, set day, and see what I'm doing. And let's try the grass. Let's use the grass, drop the grass. And there isn't much grass there, but yeah, it's disappearing. That works well. Okay, this one is interesting. This one's water bucket, which will clear lava or water. And I'm just, look at the fish flapping around. I'm just uh, looking at the water and it's disappearing. That's really cool. So I've just cleared this little valley down here, this riverbed. Let's do the other side where I was painting with the snow. That's awesome. Cool. So the stick, if I select the stick, every time I drop the stick, um, I can start kind of drawing in midair wherever I, wherever I look with dirt blocks. And the amount of times I drop the stick will increase the brush size. I think the maximum size is six. So this is size one. And let's go back. Let's drop the barrier block to stop drawing. Cool. Um, let's select a bigger size. So I'm going to drop the stick a couple of times. Size two. No, let's go size three. Um, yeah, that looks awesome. 
wow, you can really imagine how long that would take <laughs> to build that by placing blocks. Uh, drop the barrier block. Let's go back to size one and do a big spiral. What I'm going to do is try and add some color to this spiral and make it look really arty and intense and something. I want to make it look really crazy, like something we couldn't really easily build uh, without a world edit mod. Uh, let's yeah, let's paint. Let's start painting this now. Let's have a layer of snow. Uh, what else? What other color do you? Oh no, I've messed up. I'm now painting in with sand or drawing with sand. Up. Uh. Oh dear, sand everywhere. Uh, obviously, sand just falls directly. It is affected by gravity. But I built a big kind of sand stack there, which is kind of interesting. So let's carry on painting. Uh, back to my trident and my wool colors. Uh, I just drop I just drop the color that I want to use and then start moving around and it works fine. It looks awesome. Okay, bigger brush now. Let's go crazy. Let's make a really big doodle out of dirt. A dirt doodle. And uh, get some really crazy shapes going on. Let's paint this. Uh, white wool. Let's choose some colors. Red, yeah, green, and so on. And let's paint all the way around here. Uh, what I'll do is I'll export this world and try and load it without the world edit mod and see if all of this looks the same. It should. I might try loading a shader on this as well, on this world, to make it look good also. But there's one more function I want to try out, and that's the wall, the one that actually I think is going to be really useful. So let's go forward slash, slash function wall, and this builds a wall from wherever we're standing down to the ground, which is just a super quick way of building a wall. And if you, uh, if you move too quickly, there are some gaps in there, but that's fine, I'm just rushing around. You could use this, uh, actually to build stuff properly. Like this would be dead useful. Let's paint it. Let's go around and do a band of yellow. Why not? And uh, let's drop down and do a big band of purple. Uh, it's a bit dark. Let's lighten things up. There we go. Should have set this to uh, turned off the day night cycle, but that's fine. And uh, let's do the bottom layer with green. That is awesome. That's going to really speed up world building for me, having a function where you can just walk around and build a massive wall. I build so many worlds that just have a wall around the edge and it just, I just can't be bothered to build barrier blocks and do it for ages, but that's that's gonna help. Um, yeah, awesome. Let's ha let's stand back and take a look at this. So next things, next thing I want to do is try this world. I wanna, I wanna disable the world edit mod and see if it loads up, uh, see if it loads up with all the colors and all the shapes and stuff still there and it works fine. Let's just take a little step back and admire this awesome work. Looks awesome. So resource packs, uh, let's turn off. Uh, let's turn off our world edit resource pack. That's the one that we only need for the language anyway. Deactivate that. You have to do it twice because it gives you a warning. Um, why is it still on? Deactivate, thank you. Then we'll go to behavior packs and we shall do the same there. Deactivate. And we have to deactivate multiple times. And we want to find, uh, I want to find the shader, DGR shaders. I did a video on this a while ago, quite a popular video. So if you want to check that out, how to get shaders in Minecraft education, do check back through my channel. A little while ago now. And I'm going to hit play on this with the shader activated and the world edit mode turned off, the world edit add-on. Um, and it works fine. Shaders are there. And they're looking good. Um, all of the colors and stuff that I built is all there as well. So that uh, implies to me, certainly, that I could use this world editing mod to build a really cool world and then export that world without mods on and people would be able to use it absolutely fine without accessing any of those world edit tools, which is just what I wanted it for. Now I did try a few different world edit mods for today's video, but they weren't all compatible with Minecraft education, which is why we've got this one. But again, the link's in the description if you want to download this and try it out yourself. I thoroughly recommend it. It was a lot of fun. Um, however, we are going to finish the video there for today. I will be doing more videos later on in the week on mods and lessons and tutorials all things Minecraft education. So do subscribe to the channel for that. If you enjoyed today's video, give it a like as well. And I will see you all later on in the week.